Hallelujah by Ryan Bingham is going to be played in standard tuning and then capoed on the fourth fret of the guitar. From this point forward, I'll speak of these chord shapes and fret numbers as though the capo is the nut of the guitar and call them frets 1, 2, 3, and 4 as opposed to the real frets of 5, 6, 7, 8, etc. Okay, so um, this song is using a lot of just kind of very individual, uh, there's a lot of individual plucking, picking rather, of strings that happens in the song within the chord progression, but the first chord that you need to know is going to be with your first finger on the four string two fret and your ring finger on the two string three fret. You'll be strumming from the open five string down here. Everything else that's not fretted is open. You want to avoid the open six string here, but um, sometimes playing live, you can hear Ryan Bing accidentally hit the six string, so it doesn't really like kill the feel of the song, but you definitely want to avoid the open six in this first chord as much as possible. So you're going to strike that down. Also just the feel of this song is that after the initial downstroke, there's a rolling picking pattern that happens in the upper registers of the string. So like down, up, down, up, 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 one, two, three, one, two, three on the strings. So after you do that, it's actually going one, two, three, one, two, and then a down on the open four string because you lift your first finger to move to the next chord. And the next chord is to move with your first finger to the five string two fret. And you do the same down. But here instead of starting the picking on the first string, you'll start it on the second string and go two, three, four, one, two, three. And then you'll strike down again on that five string two fret and let the four string ring out behind it before moving into the next chord. So we've got it so far. And then, so that was the last down is on the five string two fret. Then move with your second finger to the five string three fret. So here we're going down on the five string, and it's okay if the open four rings out a little beneath it. And you're going two, three, uh, two, three, four, one, two, and then back down again on the five string three fret. So we've got. five string three fret where your second finger is again and immediately slide your second finger up to the five string relative five fret right there. After that slide you're going to pick up again on strings two, three, and four and then go with your second finger to the six string three fret strike that down and then right behind it hit the open five string so that you get so something about the rhythm there that I hear happening and I'm playing it right there is the slide up 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 down up down on the so down on the six string three fret up on strings just like two and three up here and then the open five string and then you get back in that same riff sometimes right there Sometimes it emphasizes 
the open five string and goes like slide, uh, slide, two, three, four, five, six string, two fret, five. So listen to that subtle difference there. Sometimes it's... And sometimes it's... Um, and then it just repeats that. Now whenever the vocals come in, a lot of times whenever the vocals come in, instead of... Instead of, once you move, okay, so this first kind of A chord is the one that I said begins the up picking on the first string open, and these other chords, the B, the C, and the D, the picking tended to start on the two string. Whenever the singing comes in, basically all the up strums just begin on the open one string, so it doesn't get that um, alternating starting place from open one, fretted two, fretted two, open two. It's just open one, open one. So one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. And also whenever the lyrics come in, this little slide kind of gets a bit more sloppy and it's just kind of like a down up, down up, down up, down up with your right hand. But with your left hand doing the same thing, that slide, so that's like a down up, then down up with an open five. Second finger to the sixth string, three fret, down up, and then land back on that kind of open five. thing to mention here. So midway through the song you have a chord change. E minor to a G. E minor to a G. The way that that E minor gets played is an open second string, second finger on the five string two fret, ring finger on the four string two fret, open three, open two, open one. And that's kind of a down In this E minor, before going to the G, I really kind of just press my uh, my hand down onto the strings to mute them. Down, up, mute, down, 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 up, mute, down, 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 down. And then it goes back into. and the movements to Hallelujah by Ryan Bingham. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.